About the warm temperatures, a sure feeling of spring across the area. It was a little blustery today, but warm. We hit a high of at least 60 in Springfield, and right now we're dropping only to about 58. We have mostly clear skies out there, and we should keep that throughout the rest of the evening. So remember those Starlink satellites passing by between, oh, I want to say it's like 637. I'll post that again, and it's on social media too if you want to check it out. But you should have good viewing for it. Now, overnight, we'll start to see some scattered clouds drifting in, and you're 24. Not showing a big drop in temperatures. I think some upper 30s to low 40s are most likely for early tomorrow morning. Might be a little bit chillier than what you see here uh, because we do keep, again, fair skies most of the night. So some veiled sunshine tomorrow morning. We'll have this layer of high clouds around, but the cloud cover is going to get thicker and lower as the day goes on. So eventually we'll turn to overcast. Despite the clouds, we're still expected to hit around 60, possibly even around 62. Either way, we should come very close to, if not break the high temperature record for tomorrow. Little cooler than uh, the valley across the hill towns, but you're still hitting lower 50s tomorrow, which is great. And we'll have a lot less wind. Now, shower chances begin to increase later in the day. We're not expecting much, but a, a round of scattered light rain is possible during the evening. We'll have a lull overnight, and then more rain is coming in Friday morning with a sharp cold front. So temperatures still very mild out ahead of this front. We're going to keep mild weather all the way through Friday morning. What happens on Friday? A strong cold front passes through before noon. We get a strong southwest wind gusting up to 30 miles an hour, and then wind shifts to the north, and we could get some gusts of 30 to 40 miles an hour throughout the afternoon. That change in direction is going to usher in much cooler air for Friday night. It's going to be a cold start Saturday morning and then just a chilly day Saturday with lighter breezes coming down from the west northwest. As far as any kind of wet weather, there is a low risk for a rumble of thunder Friday morning as this cold front comes through. We will likely see some rain, but even a few downpours are a possibility. So whether or not you hear any thunder, it's going to look like a thunderstorm outside with the rain coming down, but it's not going to linger too long. The cold front's going to sweep through and behind it we dry out very fast. The rest of the day will be dry. We'll have a lot of clouds with some breaks of sunshine again breezy with falling temperatures looking at some of the future cast for wind for Thursday night breezes start increasing a little bit out of the south after a warm front passes it'll be a little breezy during the early morning hours on Friday but once the sun comes up and we're right ahead of the front southwest wind could gust over 30 miles an hour then the front comes through wind lightens up for a minute and then increases again from the northwest blustery throughout the afternoon blustery into the evening and then we'll get some lighter breezes overnight into Saturday Saturday. But Saturday morning, temperatures in the mid teens with wind chills in the single digits, that's going to feel pretty significant compared to the morning we're going to have on Friday. Saturday afternoon, plenty of sunshine, lighter wind, back to the 20s Saturday night, and then Sunday dry with a high near 50. Monday and Tuesday looking for the most part dry, might have a shower here or there, and then trending more unsettled with some rain and snow showers and cooler temperatures later in the week. Chris?